Welcome, welcome. This is an amazing opportunity to have the trio, the trifecta, the amazing group of, I, I don't even want to say sales reps because you guys are so engaged in training and counseling and coaching your clients, but um, we have Jeff, we have Amy, we have Terry. This, everybody says, hello, hello. Go ahead and say hi so that the camera will catch hi. you. So, Hi. <laughs> hi, everyone. Welcome. Let's go back to Jeff. Jeff, that was a little weak. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Is that <laughs> That's better? better? That's much better. Yes. Better. yes, 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 <laughs> indeed. Uh, excited to be here. This is the follow-up to our uh, previous presentation. The webinar that was previously set up for holiday gifting was about DTG printing. This one today, however, is totally new, all new, and it will be focused on sublimation printing. So you'll see that we have every, every slide is going to be a different um, image, a different idea, and I can't wait to turn it over to the three experts that are, are on our panel today. So Jeff, Terry, and Amy, thanks again for taking the time. Um, I'm going to share my screen. And then who's up first? Remind me who's up first. Amy's up first. I think first. it's Amy. Amy, oh, ladies first, okay. right? Okay, so I'm let me share first. my screen. And we're going to get going with some amazing ideas for those of you who are current sublimation owners or those of you who are thinking about building your business or expanding your business into this amazing complementary technology. So if you are a DTG owner, this webinar is for you. If you are a dye sublimation owner, this, uh, this webinar is for you. But really we hope that there are some new folks here that are trying to figure out what to do next. And I would put this on your, on your holiday wish list. How's that, Amy? Yes. I think that's indeed. And look at these amazing examples. We got to give a shout out to Vanessa because I mean, yeah. those are so good. We've got two all over prints. We've got socks, we've got ornaments, we've got mugs, and we have a lot more than that in the upcoming slide. So I'm going to turn it over to Amy. Amy, this is our first slide and it is all about ornaments. Okay. So I guess if we follow the same um, format that we did for direct to garment, you know, we're going to talk about the areas that we're choosing and why we're choosing those areas. So I chose ornaments because I think that um, right now, you know, when the Christmas season comes, I don't know how many people are actually going to be able to visit their loved ones with everything that's going on in the country. So it would seem to me that sending personalized ornaments to family members would be a great opportunity for new business because what's happened in the last eight, nine months, you know, there's been so many graduations and weddings and birthdays, and there'll be so many reasons for them to want to get personalized ornaments and send them to their family members and to friends. It's, it's almost like, it's like a postcard, you know, it's like what postcards used to be. We used to send uh, postcards that's, out. That's, that's a great, so, that's a great point. Yeah. 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 And, and I, they can be made so quickly and so inexpensively and the profit margin is there on ornaments. So that's, that's uh, my love, first go-to. I love that idea, Amy, and I love the idea of the personalization aspect of it. All of the examples we have, and most of those that are present right now have photos. I, I think I might have one more slide, so let me share that. In, in, the, in the slides for ornaments, um, if, we, if we go to the next one, yeah, I found two more that I wanted to share with you because I just thought, first of all, it was super creative, and, and I, I triple-checked. I don't know where I saw this, but the one on the left that looks like a, a, it's an ornament, it's not a coaster, and it looks like it's cut from pine or some kind of a, a wood, nice. but it's sublimated. The, the, the process that was listed, I checked in two different locations, said sublimation. So somebody out there is selling a blank in this concept. And I just thought if it's out there, we better show this idea. And, and to your well, point, Amy, you know, Jay, you, it. you can sublimate on wood. You can sublimate on um, MDF true. board. That's true. So it doesn't have to be a metal ornament. I was just about to ask you, yeah. what do you think the most popular substrate is? is? Is metal one of them? What about, I've seen, I think for, I've seen ceramic too, maybe? For maybe. ornaments? Yeah, yeah. The, there are ceramic. The ceramic is popular. Metal is really popular, but the, the wood is different, you know, and it gives a more earthy look. So I, I like that a lot. That would be nice on a tree. That'd be very nice. Excellent. Well, that's a great first idea to kick us yeah. off, Amy. I love it. Ornaments, as you said, being able to yeah. share those with family members and, and commemorating the season. Good job. All right, I'm gonna to go to the next slide and I believe that goes to Jeffrey. Jeff, yeah. I found one. 
Yeah. Yeah. Just K, K is for Jeff. I, I just have something about ornaments real quick. Oh, oh, let's go back to ornaments. Yeah. You know what would be great is if you took a picture of your of your face and put it on an ornament <laughs> for them to hang on a tree and remember you every Christmas. There's just your your mug shot your, right your there. Your big old face, your big old smiling yeah. face. Actually, you could have that's all I could, you think could have, of. They would want a picture of me on their tree. There you go. You could have every family member have a face and your tree could be decorated with faces. Yeah. That would make for some really good nightmares. Or your dog. <laughs> or, pet, or, or pets, right? Or I go to the pets. Hey guys, I know what I'm getting you for the holidays. <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, we can go to uh, mugs. Okay. We can go to mugs. <laughs> Not that kind of mug, but the beverage drinking the vehicle. beverage mug. So you know what? This isn't a new idea. Obviously, mugs have been around forever. People have been sublimating them, but you know what? It's still super viable because we're all drinking either coffee or cocoa around the holidays. Uh, and, you know, Amy brought up the personalization. I mean, who doesn't want a personalized mug? I don't know if people can see my. Yeah, picture. go Devils, ASU, so, you know, I see it. That's uh, that's local here, but you can do them for local high schools. You could do them for, you know, if you have a family member that has his own business, how cool would it be if you put his logo on a mug and gave it to him for, for Christmas? They would love that. They um, would. I think I sent you some other ideas, right? You did, and I have all three, and they are fabulous in every way. <laughs> all right. I mean, I'm all about silly and funny, right? I mean, you, you are know, silly you know, and you are funny. Yes. Yeah. I, I think my, my family punked me one time with a mug. Well, I could tell Terry, that the one Terry's on the right. Because he knows what it was. <laughs> I did see the video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, you have to share it with me. I, I was pretty sure that the one on the right was something that was a family heirloom that okay. you've been passing down. Yeah, because... that that one on the left or right, however you're seeing it, is uh, with the reindeer, the OCD. That that would describe our family to a T. Um, I'm definitely not a gangster rapper. I'm a I'm a horrible rapper. You, you, you're kind of stuff it in the bag and tie. You're, you're and... kind of freestyle though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nice, Terry. Well played. <laughs> kind of but uh, the one on the right about the holidays, yeah, that's me right there. So oh, I went well. COVID, not the holidays. So like, since you three are the experts, maybe you can give us, I've seen lots of different styles this year. All three happen to be white sea handled mugs, um, but there are lots of other types and styles. And and what what's the trick to this? Are, are these mugs coated with something that makes the sublimation possible? Is that how that works? Well, yeah, the mugs are actually polymer coated. So it's not like you're gonna get any mug off the shelf. You do have to buy mugs that are for dye sublimation. And okay. they have a polymer coating because we know the secret to dye sublimation is polyester. So if we've got a polymer coating on the mugs, then it makes it accept the ink and turn it to a gas and dye the actual polymer as opposed to dyeing a fiber, it's dyeing the polymer. Gotcha. So that's how you can transform yourself into a gangsta rapper. Yeah, and Jay, I just want to point out also that when you're doing mugs, um, you need, a, there are a couple of different options for heat pressing that. You can get a, a mug heat press, or right. there's another option. We have a friend, um, Jen Callahan, that does a ton of sublimated mugs. And what she did was she got herself an oven specifically for sublimation and there's a wrap that you put around the mug and put it in the oven gotcha but, you know what i love about mugs nowadays is in sublimation is that you know just from the old days it's so crisp and clear and the colors are so accurate sublimation has made such a great resurgence lately because the technology especially with the epson printers the 570 or 63 70 those are all such great printers now that um, yeah. it, epson just has it has it dialed in they look amazing couldn't agree more um and and, and i want to just before i turn it over to terry sorry terry didn't mean to cut you off the concept of let's be realistic here we don't need another mug we don't need another mug but we <laughs> want a fun mug we want a memory we want to be in on the joke. We want to be able to share our hearts and our passions with our loved ones. And so I just want to say that the mug is also a fabulous way to be a container of other things, a container of 
of, of goodies, treats, candies, gift cards, special notes. So it's, it, the mug is almost like the container of, of the rest of the gift, if that makes sense. I hope that I conveyed that properly. Terry, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say, uh, when you're doing any of the sublimation, make sure that you uh, use the, um, the DTG printed uh, um, uh, pot holders that Jeff talked about last week, because these things are going to be very hot. <laughs> oh, yes. Very yes. hot. They, the oven mitts. He had oven mitts, right? Oven mitts. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and, and don't worry, Terry, I'm a step ahead of you with the pot holders. I, I found something that I want to share with you guys at the end. So, well, that'll, that'll uh, you know, it, it perfectly. It, it, you know, when you guys are talking about you don't need another mug, I, I just literally bought another coffee mug yesterday. And it says, uh, I am totally judging you based on your Y-O-U apostrophe R-E crossed out Y-O-U-R grammar usage. Grammar. <laughs> Cause I'm, I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a <laughs> <Yeah>. grammar guy. <laughs> and um, you were. Yeah, I, I would say there's. I've been I've been given quite a few mugs that have taco themes in the last year. So exactly. I just think it's great. It's it's about personality. It's fun. All of us have several, whether we drink coffee or don't, whether it just sits on your desk and holds your pencils, that's fine too. Please, please, please remember through all of these gifts, do not miss the power of personalization. One thing that sublimation, the strength of it is to be able to print and make one of something. So all right, Terry, I'm gonna kick this over to you now. All right. So well, you're gonna guide of, us into this next. There we go. Speaking of speaking of personalization, uh, luggage tags are a great stocking stuffer or or a business gift. So you know that little stack of business cards you have there on your desk from from coworkers, customers, vendors. You can take those business cards and create custom luggage tags, and and that is a product that everybody is going to use. And it, well, you know, assuming that we'll all start traveling again. <laughs> which we will we will which we will which we will like definitely but uh, I, I think it's just a really great product very easy to sublimate and that that business card is 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 there's your art you know so yeah as long as it's a, a decently printed business card but uh, I, I I just think it's a it's a and, and I'm really big on stocking stuffers I love to to get certainly personalized things to put in stockings and that sort of thing, but, uh, but inexpensive, but much appreciated uh, business gift, I think. So you're off to see the world. Is that right? Off to see the world. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I found some of these online and I thought it was really great. There's been a lot of folks that have uh, um, shared the concepts of luggage tags. And that's why I had this put this, put it back in its mind. But Terry, one thing we share in common as dance dads is that over the years, we've had our girls stuff a whole lot of gear in those bags. And I've seen with my own eyes an on-site, on-demand sublimation system where they were printing luggage tags and personalizing them for the event and then the and then the girls names on the other side and they weren't traveling via air travel but they have a bag and when you've got 30 girls that all have the same bag then exactly. it's it's pretty challenging and rather than as an option rather than embroidering the bag which is more expensive these are the kinds of things that can go and be a helpful tool and and also be fun for the girls so i just thought i'd share that from one dance dad to another and uh, Jay, as, as uh, you well know, at those events, you can charge any price for that. And, and we dads are going to pay it. So <laughs> we have to, we don't exactly. have, we have, we don't have a choice. You're right. The choice was eliminated from the moment that they enrolled in dance. The minute you walk through the door, um, the word no is gone. Pretty much. It was right. like, just hand me your credit card now. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm checking the limit. Hang on just a minute. <laughs> And, and, oh and, the, uh, okay. and the always uh, the always popular all the other girls got one <laughs> yeah of course of course all the other girls got one okay whoops i went too fast amy uh i did see your email this morning but we are going to have to share this anyway because it's just too fabulous and i don't know um much about these substrates and i know you do and it was something that when we talked about it in planning it really hit my heart right now that this is a more warm gift than ever before because of our current situation. Yeah, I mean, everyone has now just about a home office. I mean, let's put it this way. If you're still employed, 
<laughs> You've got a home office. Well, apparently, because... apparently Jeff and Terry do because that's where and Amy, all three of you. <laughs> I'm the only one that's actually in the office. <laughs> and it's you know it's always very uh, comforting to surround yourself when you're working with personal things that that mean a lot to you. And I think that the picture frame these are easel back picture frames. Now they can be in the, um, the MDF board, which is a, a hard board, white in the background or on metal also. And they make such beautiful gifts because they, the color and the crispness on metal is it's second to none. And when you make these with an Epson dye sublimation printer with their special photo paper that they have, there's no mm -hmm. grain, nothing whatsoever. It's as smooth as the highest end photo you've ever seen. And they're just so beautiful. So you put oh, them on your really desk and point. you're surrounded by your loved ones. Yeah. I'm really glad. I'm really glad you brought that up. I, I'd forgotten about that. So there are different photo papers, different media, right? We need to be aware of that for sublimation. There are. There are different products, and each will give you, you know, you know, the, the right paper for different results. So if you're going to do metal or anything photographic, you know, you want to use that photo paper. Um, but if you're going to if you're going to sublimate on on fabrics that have a lot of movement and a lot of sheen to them, there's a paper for that. That's the uh, textile adhesive paper. It's got a little bit of a tooth in it, so it doesn't slide around so easily. But the multi-purpose is still terrific too for everything as well. Yeah. Well, so you, know, you what can, do you guys you can think? call us and 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 if you're confused about that, and and we're certainly happy to to assist. Yep. Be sure to call Jeff, Amy, or Terry. Yeah, because <laughs> you would be the subject matter we'll experts and you would have, yeah, don't call me. You can call me, but I'm gonna have you talk to one of these three. You can call that's Jay, so maybe. Maybe, oh, <laughs> Terry, that's not good. That was not good. We better, we better click to the next slide before we have to have that hover. So let's turn it over to Jeff. Jeffrey was talking about custom ties and I found one and he found one. Jeff, what do you say? Yeah, so um, custom ties. You know, my first thought about doing <laughs> custom ties, I've had this idea for a long time. I've actually seen people wear them is um, a mom could have their kids make designs and then they could scan those designs, send them to you, you print them out and sublimate a tie. And then the dad could wear that tie to work or church or wherever with the kids drawing on it proudly. And so that's a great Father's Day gift, not just Christmas gift. I couldn't find any pictures of that online. So I think that would be pretty unique. Um, here you have a, a baby picture, I mean, there, what there's something there's something that, creepy right? about it but yeah, yeah but christmas <laughs> just, um, hey, another hey, one hey, that i saw that i really like yeah terry that, come on it's not creepy what are you talking about in fact if anything <laughs> it kind of resembles the one you. Sent you the one that i sent you was of uh of a woman on there so you could uh you know put your face on there and give it to your husband <laughs> as a present so that <laughs> everybody knows this is your significant other Oh, I get it now. I, yeah. Okay. I didn't understand when you sent that one. So forgive me for not sharing it, but that's great. I love the I am Santa Claus because that ties into the holidays, but it could be for any holiday. I'm a turkey, um, whatever, you know, so it's, it's an original idea. We don't wear a lot of ties, but I like the category. It could, it could definitely carry over into scarves. I've seen some of the work that Amy's done in New Jersey with some of the really higher end fabrics that, that, um, just print so beautiful. So ties, scarves, these accessory type items are, are popular um, and are fun. Again, this might be a, a joke, but if you at least got one wearing out of it, it would serve its purpose. And if if your kids gave you something, Jeff, you're going to wear it, right? You're pretty much oh, obligated yeah. to wear it. I have ties that my kids gave me that I hate, but I still have to wear them. Uh, <laughs> you know, you could Wait, also we're, do- Jeff, um, Jeff, we're recording this. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, my kids don't watch this. Trust me. But- uh, <laughs> You could also do uh, business logos, corporate logos. So if you have a friend that has their own business, I have a friend and has his own business with no employees. You know, he's not going to go have one of these made for him, but you could do that. Um, you know, that might be something really cool for him to wear. But I, I did see some of those online. Very neat. 
Nice. Well, it's a great category. It's something I had not considered because I can tell you quite honestly and proudly, I've not worn a tie in nine months. So <laughs> I got that going for me. And that's about the same time period as this has not been trimmed in about nine months. Yeah. So there's, there's, a, there's a relationship to that. Yeah, he said. Moving, moving right along. <laughs> <laughs> Our next category is, are you ready for this? Wow. Oh. Terry. How did I know with with 100% certainty there was a reason you wanted to talk about sublimated coasters? <laughs> well, when I go to a holiday party and somebody hands me a coaster, I'll say, no, thank you. I'm not going to put my drink down. But uh, it doesn't um, last long enough. <laughs> <laughs> but holiday themed coasters, I think, uh, uh, are, again, very easy to do. But, you, you know, I started thinking about it and, you know, a lot of us get Christmas cards with that family picture on it, you know, and mm -hmm, wouldn't that mm -hmm. be cool to reciprocate and send back a set of coasters with that same picture on it for, Oh, that is a good idea. Yeah. And, and, and then they'll, you know, every Christmas, those are going to come out. Right. And uh, I just think there, there are a lot of simple products like coasters out there, but you just have to be creative in the way that you present it to your customer. And they're, they're going to say what Jay just said. That is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I, I do want a set of those four or six or eight coasters. But, uh, and, you know, maybe maybe you do one that says uh, Santa's milk on it, you know, and you, that's where you, where, where you, and you pull it out every year because that's where you put the little, right. uh, little mug of milk right next to the plate of cookies that you could also. Right. But um, I, I just thought, you know, uh, if somebody did that with me, if I'd sent out a Christmas card with, with picture on with a picture on it and they sent back coasters with that picture i'd be like that is really cool so that's I, I really so like how carrie always brings up cookies in a webinar have you noticed that somehow yeah he, yeah. he's, two, he's two, two for two two, <laughs> yeah, two for two true hey could you go back to that slide jay real quick i just want to yes i can on the coasters there. i'm there i i think it's a brilliant idea to take a take your vacation picture and put it on a coaster and, and I'll put it on coasters and give it to somebody else and say, look where I went on my vacation. <laughs> Sorry, you couldn't go there. Uh, Terry, Terry does that every year to me. When he goes to the Dominican Republic with his sons, he sends me these coasters of them at the pool. And now I get it. I didn't understand what you were doing. Yeah. You were, you in were case mocking you me, Terry. On Instagram, here's a coaster. <laughs> wow. You know, the thing I want to point out also is that the housing market right now is crazy. There's a lot of people buying houses and moving. Coasters, personalized coasters make a fabulous housewarming gift. Fabulous. Oh, Amy, thank you Absolutely. for bringing it back to the to the serious and a, and a sorry. And, and, yeah, no, I'm glad you did oh, because I, with these two, you never know what you're going to get. But you're right; that's so important. The housing market is on a you know, on fire right Personalized now. Personalized are moving on. every time you go to somebody's new house or new apartment for any gift. reason. It's just a great I, you know, gift. I mean, you know, and you can make these, you can make dozens of these at a time. It's the easiest thing. You get a jig and you put them down and you can make 10 at a time. So the cost is very low. And yeah, so those are, along those lines, uh, I got uh, a couple of months ago, long lost buddy from college uh, found me on Facebook. And then he just started flooding Facebook with all these pictures from back in our fraternity days. And, uh -huh. and I thought, man, those would be so cool and a set of coasters, you know, all those, yeah. I, I had long hair, I had hair. Had <laughs> wait, had, wait, what? I had I a sweet mustache. Cutting, it was cutting out. What was that, Terry? You had what? <laughs> was hair. it longer than Jay? Hair. <laughs> you had hair. And it was the 70s, so it was longer, longish. <laughs> but uh, well, I'm trying to relive the '70s, as you can tell. So, but, I mean, some of some of those photos, though, I I'd forgotten about, you know. And it's like uh, when we we, uh, we played a flag football game every homecoming, alums against the actives, you know. And there's a picture of a of all of us together. And I thought, man, what a cool picture! I've forgotten about this person, that person. Put put all those on on coasters and send them out to your friends, you know, nice. some from days gone by. Yeah. Yeah, Terry, I'm going to I'm going to encourage you to actually do that and not just talk about it this year. Okay. 
You're on. Okay. Um, <laughs> moving right along. Uh, I did find two that were uh, more holiday centric and thought that they were cool. I thought of you when I found the Christmas ale. Um, that is not a, a scented car refreshener. That is actually a coaster. It's printed on chipboard. Um, but the other one was a hard coaster. And both of those, um, when, I, when I found them, they were in the sublimation category. So I'm going to trust that they were sublimated. Um, but I just think it's a great, again, it's, it's it, as Amy said, it could be housewarming gift. It could be holiday gift. There's so many applications. And if it's warm and genuine and personalized to them, they're always going to be grateful and they're always going to keep them. And don't, and don't lose out, don't miss out on the business application to this as a tandem or a bundle with a mug. So there's obviously a, a, a double win there. Okay, moving through, we've got some other greatness to share. Amy, I think this is up to you and your category. We, yes. we briefly brought this up. It, I don't know where it came from in the last session, but I'm glad that we're actually showing it this time in our sublimation session. So these, it's a little hard to tell by the photos, but these are blankets. And these are holiday baby blankets. Very, very big. There are, you know, there is such a big market just for blankets. And um, these can be 40 by 60, or they can even be those the small baby blankets, like, you know, the 20 by 30. Of course, the 40 by 60, you need a large heat press um, or even a, a calendar heat press to go with it. But it's, you can put it on really nice plush fabric because that is a polyester fabric. And um, what we haven't said is that these are all OE Tex approved inks. Mm, so bring that up. Meaning, why, why is that important, Ian? Meaning that, that important? when that little baby starts licking the blankie, <laughs> nothing will happen. The baby will not get ill. It, it passes all the requirements. And that's important because, you know, you, yeah. you do have, when you have little ones around, you have to be very careful about that. So that's why I like those baby blankets. But then there's another blanket. Can you go back? There to is. Those? Yep. There yep. Is. Yep. Perhaps that's what's coming next. So I also saw these everywhere, everywhere. And this is not a fad that's just peaked and then gone away. This is like a multi-year trend. I have nieces that have all had kids recently in the last couple of years. And I had not seen the one to the left, by the way, Amy, where it's talking about all of Olivia's firsts and, and how they positioned strategic candy canes next to her. That's really creative. Um, so it, it's, it's being willing to spend some time on Pinterest, spend some time on Etsy, spend some time on Google and, and see what's out there and then figure out how you want to apply it. So when I saw this, I was so glad that you found these. The next one. Wow. Tell me this about this. Favorite. This is my favorite. So what we have here is, a, is an example, of course, of a, of a throw blanket. But what's different about this one, it's a little hard to tell by the photo, but you'll get the gist. This is made with fluorescent inks. And so when you're talking about dye sublimation, we know that you get really vibrant, brilliant colors with the Epson dye sublimation products, but their new printer that has fluorescent inks will make those colors glow. Um, and, and it just adds a whole different dimension to a gift and to the way something looks. If you've got the right image, you can really make something very dramatic and for the same amount of money. It's, it's not like it's, it's the same type of printer, the Epson printer, and you're gonna need the same heat press and you use the same paper, but with the addition of those fluorescent pink and yellow inks, I mean, it just pops. And that's a really nice gift because now you're addressing the 20 somethings and the teenagers and and every age group, not just babies anymore or grandmas. So now everybody can have a really wild looking blanket of their own based on what their interest is. That's a Amy, great, I have a question for you on that. Yeah, yeah if you don't I'd mind. I'd like mine to be all flowers like that. Be so nice. Yeah, and now, sorry. Didn't now we know what to get, Amy. Go ahead, Jeff, what was your question? <laughs> yeah, so you mentioned um, say heat press, but on a big blanket like that, you'd probably be using a calendar press, right? Yeah, you probably on this one, you would get a 60 inch calendar heat press because you want a nice big blanket. Yeah, you, you gave me a great idea for a, a Christmas gift and I just wrote it down. My daughter got married earlier this year. So I'm going to make her a uh, first Christmas blanket for them. Oh, so nice. That, that was brilliant. I'm glad I watched this today. There you go. <laughs> 
I'm 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 glad you watched too, Jeff. Yeah, I'm so glad. <laughs> well, you you know I I've seen twice posted uh, on uh, on social media, uh, like a mom holding up a blanket, but it's a letter from a child, from uh, you know a Happy Mother's Day and and what you mean to me. But it's a whole letter, but it's all sublimated as a. Uh, uh, onto a blanket just a giant letter like that and it's very cool I've, I've seen it twice so so and you know it's wonderful these are one of a kind right yeah, yeah. never gonna be I mean ne never but there won't be another one like it for anyone and that's the beauty of dye sublimation you can't yeah. put a price on that right you cannot and the and the receiver of that gift is gonna be feeling the warmth, and I mean that both literally as well as figuratively for yeah. years and years and years, because oh, yeah. those are the things that you keep, those are the keepsakes, that's what we're doing. And Kodak had it right, we're, we're, we're capturing memories and we're reproducing right. them on all sorts of cool substrates for people. Sometimes it's for fun, sometimes it's it's because it's heartfelt and it's sincere. And um, listen, we're, we're <laughs> We, we've all had a lot of time to reflect in the last six months and the relationships that are important to us. And so I think this fourth quarter and these holiday seasons, we have an opportunity to truly give these types of personalized gifts that come from the heart that are a little bit more meaningful. Um, it's okay to still be silly when it's appropriate, but I, I love these ideas. You guys are crushing it. So thank you so much. Let's keep, let's keep clicking through. Um, someone did ask, by the way, what is the new Epson printer that uses the fluorescent inks, Amy? Oh, that, that is the model F9470H. And it's a 60, 64 inches wide. And it uses the standard CMYK, but in place of one of the light magentas, it gives you pink. And in place of one of the yellows, it gives you fluorescent yellow. Now it has eight bays for ink. So it's super fast with two print heads. So that's what you want. If you want to be in that blanket business, that's what you want. Terry's got a client here in Phoenix that's crushing it with that right now. I mean, we got a chance to go tour his facility about, I guess it's been a year now, hasn't it, Terry? Yes. And they yes. had, they had, <laughs> excuse me, they had, they had four printers and they just were cranking out blankets, cranking out blankets. And, and every one of them personalized one of this and one of this and one of this. Uh, five uh, sublimation, large format Epson sublimation printers and now 12 direct to garment printers. Oh, so. I think at this point, Terry's just bragging, Jeff. What do you think, Amy? It, it's not unusual. It's pretty fun, but yeah. It's okay. It doesn't it's bother. It's okay. Well, for all of our listeners out there though, this company, they started in their kitchen four years ago. Wow, and it's four true. years ago. True story. Yeah. Wow. So it's a tribute so. to their, it's a tribute to their marketing um and, and and to terry's guidance i mean it couldn't do it without you terry so let's let's give <laughs> terry the award on <laughs> uh, oh i'm being silly let's keep going we've got good stuff to show jeff guess what oh i God. found socks are I, so popular i know i found <laughs> socks everywhere of all the things that i was looking for for sublimation examples socks you guys are the rage and and have been for a while and i predict will continue to be for a while I will, um, I will just give you a quick sublimation sock story that happened this week. It Ooh, is, uh, it's this, timely. Yesterday was drug awareness day at the high school. So my son thought it would be funny to wear his, uh, his pot socks. Pot socks? socks water what? leaves all over them. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, a Morgenthaler for you. So the apple doesn't fall far from the tree is what you're saying. Uh, no, but you know, he's that, he's that kid that was telling me to vote yes on the proposition to legalize it. So he, he I think it's too I, much Jeff, I think, everything. I think when this webinar is done, you have a conversation with your teenager, but that's just me. <laughs> um, the sock idea is fabulous. The personalization of it is, is impressive. And we have, I know Amy has a client that does thousands and thousands of socks. Um, uh, Amy, do you see this trend slowing down at all either? No, not slowing down. Everybody wants socks. It's it's just people will pay, you know, $14.95, $16.95 for a pair of socks that has something important to them on it or their dog or just holidays and seasons. It's, it's amazing. And I might add that 
the people who are making the socks, they've got the big printers, you know, so they've got the, the Epson 9370, 9470 family. So what they're doing is they're making hundreds and hundreds of them at once. That's the only way that you can really, you know, have that kind of a business is just make, make them by the hundreds. And that's how they do that. Yeah. Because you're, you're speaking to the fact that your client is dedicated to this and this is their, their main niche. And so that's why they've invested right. in the right tools. Right. They're, they're, they're doing it on, on a large, large scale. It would be possible though, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but it would be possible with any dice sub printer, if you have the right, you know, the right blanks and the right key press and the right paper, correct? Oh, sure. Definitely. You can do okay. it on any of them. Sure. Jeff, you shared. Oh, go ahead, Terry. I was just going to say, in the example there, the the black uh, on the on the toe and heel of that sock is probably already black when it's yes. sublimated. Just just so that you can have that that you don't have you don't have the the white uh, space that uh, that you would get, you know, normally sublimating something like this. Great point. This was the example that Jeff shared with me, which I thought was yeah, brilliant. Very, very holiday and very festive. Thank you know, you, you know, your clients are going to be wearing that sock. But where did you get uh, socks with JP Hunt's face on it? In <laughs> the previous, I, I, yeah, <laughs> that, that's him, right? From Ink Sock. No, no, that's not JP, but that's oh, funny. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, just okay. like the ties, these socks are um, have endless ideas and and our great gifts i'll tell you what the kids absolutely love having custom socks it's a it's a very popular thing right now have you seen that at like the high school level are they wearing like branded high school custom socks or are they wearing more of a funny joke gift gag type sock or is it uh, both? mostly funny stuff but um i don't think that people tap too much into that market you know they would wear those socks on spirit days or maybe to uh you know sporting events to promote uh, school spirit, but just yeah. for uh, walking around school, I don't think they're going to be wearing their school logos. They're going to be wearing their funny socks. You know, yeah, I little, thought of it for little, spirit wear. A little sidebar on this: when I um, last Thanksgiving, when I was down in uh, Maryland for family holiday weekend, took my daughter to a, a shoe store. And what do they have at the shoe store to go along with your new shoes? A wall of socks. Umbrellas. I thought you were going to say shoelaces. So what? Oh. A, so what a great business opportunity for for the business owner who has dye sublimation to connect with the local shoe stores and say, "Look, I can make all of these custom socks, and we can do a display here, and you can sell them right there when somebody buys their shoes." Yeah, everybody. Great point. If the socks are there, they will buy them with the shoes because that's their extra little treat. They've already spending you know, $150, $250 on shoes, what's 20 bucks? Nothing. And they always do it. Yeah, especially if they're branded or if there's some mm -hmm. local connection or hook. I, I think you're right. You could, you know, I could see if you're in Maryland, you're going to have beach themes. You're going to have Chesapeake Bay themes. You're going to have crab cakes, um, crab cakes <laughs> crabs. <laughs> Mm, now you're talking. It's always about food with Terry. Cookies, cookies and crab cakes. I love it, Jeff. Thanks. That was a great category. Great idea. Um, we've got a few more to wrap up. Terry, this was one that you sent me that I just was like blown away. I had never even considered this. Well, yeah. And you know, uh, I, I, I right now out in my garage with my, with all my Christmas decorations, have my, my floor mat or my, my uh, doormat that uh, similar to the one here in the picture. And, and these are totally, well, if you buy the right ones, the ones that are made for sublimation, you can certainly uh, create custom, you know, certainly with your family name or that sort of thing, or, uh, you know, all kinds of holiday ideas and right on a, on a doormat. And the, the printable area, you know, you could do this, even the, the smallest sublimation decorator could do something like this and, and uh, make that that image the, the right size for your printer and your heat press. So I, I think it's a really interesting idea. And again, what, what a cool gift uh, that you know, those that your friends are gonna pull that out every year and put it in front of their door. The, with me the day after Thanksgiving, right when the Christmas music starts. And, and uh, oh, it starts. I think it starts now uh, immediately after Halloween is when the holiday <laughs> well, starts. I, I did hear here in Phoenix it's going to start on November 9th. 
It started. I went to Home Depot looking for something, and the right. Christmas trees are everywhere there already, the, the fake ones. But I'll tell you, I had a great idea for you, Terry. Put your face on the doormat and point right here and say, leave cookies here. <laughs> Wouldn't that be a, that, that's a great, you know, if you're gone. I, I, thought, I thought there was going to be some, some combination of walking all over Terry or something that, there. there. I, there you go. Walk all right. I, okay. I do confess. I have a, a, a doormat that says friends and beer. If I'm not here, leave the beer. <laughs> 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 See, yeah. man, you are like a walking gift factory, Terry. This is so <laughs> cool. I loved the idea. I, I I could envision myself kind of trying to think. Okay, last minute, I want to give my best friends something really cool, fun, and memorable. I don't want to just, you know, last minute find some lame candle or something that is meaningless or a gift card because I could. Candle? Yeah, it's like this is. Yeah, Jeff. Like, the, the, thanks a lot for the candles last year, by the way. So the the thing that you can that you can give that's fun and meaningful that you could personalize and all levels of every idea that you guys have shared. That's what gets me excited about this, these categories and the concepts. And thank goodness that we are, you know, lucky enough to be affiliated with and work through the dealership and have all of the access to these Epson printers, because it really takes all the, the hard, the hard stuff out of it. You know, you print the paper, you press it and bam, you get all this credit. So good stuff, you guys. I love it. Anything that's else, good. Terry, that you wanted to ask? Sorry, Jay, not to put anybody on the spot here, but uh, any idea what a sublimatable mat is, is going to cost you? Or is that like a $20 item to get to something? Ed, I'm not sure about it. Amy, do you have any idea? Oh, I don't know. I have not really um, looked at mats like that. I guess we'll have to check into that. We'll, yeah. we'll give Jeff that assignment since his curious mind asked the unaskable. I'm all over um, it all over it but those blanks would be fun and i don't know how big those are but i assume most doormats are like a 24 by 30 kind of a space something so like you, that yeah you might have to could you like heat press half of it and then the other half if you didn't have you know a ginormous heat press just to well, get when by. you think about it though you could take that mat and uh and and um do a 16 by 20 i mean most everybody has a 16 by 20 heat press and that's gonna, yeah, that's gonna fill up that space yeah, yeah. yeah okay good good yeah good point uh, let's we actually see got a comment here, Jay, from uh, Joanna that the cheapest, easiest mats to sublimate are at Home Depot. Oh, really? well, didn't oh, know. Wow. Thanks for chiming in. We've got know. some. We've got some uh, excellent feedback from our guests, so that's fantastic. You know, news. You know Jeff uh, Rick Davis also commented that uh, when you were talking about your son and his marijuana socks, uh, he commented that you should search his backpack. Oh. So. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry, we do. <laughs> He's a good kid. I'm just <laughs> Don't worry, we do. Uh, okay, so I've got a couple more for you before we wrap up. We're coming close to the end here, but there were a couple surprises I wanted to show you. Things that I thought, Jeff, last week you talked about the oven mitts. So this week I thought I would bring in a sublimation heating pad or hot pot pad or whatever you guys call those. I know they're called different things in different parts of the country, but... Um, we whisk you a Merry Christmas, right? Love and then it. you come up with any kind of cute saying. Um, these are very affordable, by the way. These are like under $2 blank. And right. they're easy size. Anybody with a heat press could make these. You could probably get even two or three up, four up, maybe, depending on the size of the image. Um, just love the idea. I don't know if you guys have seen these or if, if, if this is in your... Uh, and they're Teflon on the back. So they're actually practical for, for people who actually cook. And especially during the holidays, if you are delivering something to somebody and you're giving that special warm, you know, we, we have family gatherings. I know our family does. And we always tease my mom. She's always like, well, what do you guys want me to bring? And we're like, mom, nothing. Just let, let us do this, right? There's, we have a big family. There's, there's going to be 40 of us there. What do you want to, we want you to bring you, bring dad. That's what we want you to bring. So, but while we're doing this, it made me think with my sisters and all the things and the tasty treats they bring, it would be fun. It's an easy gift to give. And these are useful. You would keep this even throughout the year, you would probably use this. But like, like Terry says, because he's so organized, you might, you know, on January 1st, you put all of your Christmas stuff back in the bin, back in the garage. And we'll sit there in, my, in my red and green tubs. Color coated even. Wow. Why am orange, I not surprised? So I have orange and black. <laughs> Which symbolizes what? Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Oh, yeah, duh. Sorry. I was oh, if Ken's watching Oklahoma State. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> really? You had to go there? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so another idea I want to share with you guys. How about these? <laughs> That's cute. Those are yeah. awesome. Those are great. Those awesome? I, I love the one. antlers. <laughs> those are great. Uh, I thought... I thought that this was, these are sublimation. They could be sublimated. They could actually be both. They could be DTG printed, but depending on the fabric, depending on what you find blank that's out there. And, and you could do these for any occasion, not just, oh, sure. you know, Christmas. This could be any holiday, any birthday. Um, Amy, I'm happy to see you get that reaction because that's what I, I hoped. You. you know, grumpy Jeff's up there just wishing. I don't know what you're wishing, Jeff. What's, what's the problem? These aren't cool. You don't like these. I love it. I'm not being grumpy. I love it. I, I even wrote it down on my notepad. Hello, <laughs> antlers. You know, we oh, talk that could be your next present. Yeah. Well, I have several ideas here for Christmas. This is perfect timing. You know, we talked about um, pillows last week too, a little bit um, for DTG. They can be direct garment printed or they can be sublimated. And, uh, you know, just this week I had a client come in and is purchasing a printer specifically for this. So, there you go. We, so we have multiple clients that all they do are, are uh, pillows. Are so. pillows, yep. And, they do, and most of them are like personalized, not necessarily for holiday theme, right? But like a saying or a family. Is that what they're doing? Too? Family, wedding. Um, oh, weddings. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one. Okay. So I thought you guys would enjoy those. I'm glad I got a couple of chuckles. And then I have this one, which is oh, one of God. Amy's specialties of all over printing these were dye sublimation for the holidays amy what do you think about that all over print cut and sew in fact i think yeah that's definitely cut and sew that's terrific that's crazy i have those pants <laughs> oh well well played you also have that flask don't you terry <laughs> And well, Jeff still got those glasses. He's still rocking those glasses. <laughs> I will. I will tell you that last year at our at our Phoenix Christmas holiday get together, uh, Jeff did give me a gift of uh, of uh, of uh, suntan lotion containers that were flasks. <laughs> so <laughs> to take to the beach. Oh, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, I already have your your Christmas gift for this year. I'm just going to tell you now. So all right. Well. I thought we would be silly at the end, but at the same time, if, if we could, Amy, if you could talk mm -hmm. a little bit about the cut and sew and, and how that, how could that happen? I know that's not something that somebody's just going to, you know, tonight, just on a whim, jump into. But I, yeah. I, I do want our audience to understand that we have clients that do this type of work. Well, there, there's two ways you can approach a cut and sew. Um, the first is, um, is the most basic, and that is you can make a bolt of fabric with dye sublimation. So you either have the Epson 6370, which is 44 inches wide, or the 9470, 64 inches wide. And you just, you just print the file, you just print the design, and as long as you want it to be, and you, it rolls up on a take-up reel. You take that over to a calendar heat press, and you put that roll up along with your bolt of white polyester fabric. You weave, weave it together and you are now making, you know, custom made fabrics, which is a very big market, by the way. That's the one way. And then you can sell the custom made bolts of fabric to your clients uh, or send it out, you know, to a sewing house. The second way is when people uh, have their own patterns already made. And that, that pattern is actually an Illustrator file and it's in the software. So then they open it up in the RIP software and it actually is the shape of the arm, the shape of the neck, all the pieces that you need to actually sew. And then you print that on the printer. And then if, if you're smart, you can put cut marks around the entire thing, each piece of that cut and sew pattern. You put crop marks around. Gotcha. Then you take that over to a cutter, like a graph tech cutter, an automated cutter. And now the cutter is going to cut that thing, contour, cut that thing up in a matter of seconds. Now you've <laughs> got your pattern. Now you take that over and you transfer that to fabric. So there's a lot of different ways to go about cut and sew. 
Very cool. I just know the popularity with, with jerseys, customized sportswear, and then every year starting in, in the holidays about Christmas time, but it really kicks in earlier than that, like pre-Halloween, like October 1st, you start to see these gag websites jump up and they're, they're all custom, silly patterns, um, ugly sweater type, you know, stuff that, that's been Halloween popularized costumes. over the last- that's how a lot of Halloween costumes are made. Exactly. And, and, and the I fashion custom- industry, uh, sublimation yeah. is huge in the fashion industry. Yeah. Yes, you know, that, 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 that dress that, that you just bought, flip it on the inside. If it's white inside, that's sublimation. And, and I think people would be shocked at how common it is in, in that industry. Well, you know, the good news, too, is that we have subject matter experts like Amy who can explain the process, who have actually done this in the New Jersey facility. I've seen some of the examples that you've made, Amy, and they're outstanding. And I also was lucky enough to have you be a special guest in one of our first um, uh, Equipment Zone webinars. And we discussed this at length, and we talked about every single dye sublimation printer. We talked specifically about all of the necessary heat presses, what you could do with it. So for those of you who are curious about that and want more detail, for sure, you could reach out to Amy, but you could also watch some of our previous webinars on dye sublimation. Yep. Well, guess what, folks? We have arrived at the best part of our show for some, for sure, which is <laughs> the end. Uh, but I want to say thank you again to everybody and the ideas that you all shared. They were fabulous in every way, um, both fun as well as profitable, which I think is important that our business owners and those of you who have that entrepreneur spirit, we want to make sure that you see these ideas not only as kind of funny and fun and creative, but also profitable. Um, we, we always keep one eye on the bottom line, which is to make sure that you guys are are making money. And uh, it's not all about the capitalism, but it is you know, you took this risk. This is not just a hobby for most of you. This is part of your business. So we want to see you succeed. Um, is there anything else that you three want to wrap up with or share before we close it out? Well, I'll, I'll add that there are literally thousands of, of products that you could sublimate on. Uh, the, the, what we're talking about here, though, is take, looking at that simple product and, and creating a, a really uh, interesting idea that you can communicate to your customer and, and inspire more sales. Yep, well said, Excellent. Terry. Well said, Terry. Jeff, anything? I think we just about covered it. Amy. Yep, nope. Thank you for all We're listening. We're good. Okay, awesome. Well then let's, let's close with this. I've just got a couple more slides to go through. For those of you who, who are new, there are a few names I didn't recognize. And if you are watching this, we do have quite a uh, collection or library of webinars that are training based. Um, we're always looking at this from the lenses of how can we give value and how can we support our client base? How can we give them the training they need and the ideas and the creativity they need uh, to be successful with any printer? So if you've always thought of Equipment Zone as just a DTG specific company, we are more than just DTGs. That is our specialty, but we love these die sub printers. Um, and we would love to speak more and more specifically and put that on your holiday wish list. Um, and, and for those of you that uh, have done well through this season and are looking for a reason to reinvest in your business, a new die sub printer would make a ton of sense. I personally, as your official unofficial tax consultant, would suggest that you meet with your tax professional and find out how you can invest in your business rather than pay more taxes than necessary. But I am not your tax professional. So therefore, with those weasel words said, um, coordinate with Jeff or Terry or Amy, and they can guide you through some ideas there. Also, here's how you reach these great people. So thanks again to the three of you um, and all of our staff behind the scenes that are not on these webinars who help you know, from the front office to production to shipping. Um, we couldn't do it without them. So we might be the faces of this. Uh, but we're grateful to be uh, currently employed and to be having this much fun and to still be seeing our clients winning. Um, and so hopefully one idea we shared today is going to make a difference in the course of your business for the next six weeks and beyond. So that's all I've got. Thanks, everybody. We appreciate you tuning in today. Let's give a wave goodbye and you, I will stop recording. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, See ya. Bye everybody. <laughs>